David Hay says his career will be done if he can't beat Tony Bellew in the rematch Deontay Wilder believes David Hay will gain revenge over Tony Bellew as long as he avoids injury. The WBC World Heavyweight Champion would like to see his old sparring partner redress the balance when the pair meet again on December 17, live on Sky Sports box office. Wilder is due to defend his title in Brooklyn, New York, on November 4, and although he says neither are true heavyweights, he is looking forward to the fight in London. Deontay Wilder The first thing that came to into my mind about this was a draw, he exclusively told Sky Sports. But the more I think about it, David winning and setting up the trilogy I like that I think David Wald won the first one, if he didn't injure his Achilles, because he was a handful, but then could hardly walk. Hopefully he doesn't have any injuries in this one, because I had him winning in the first one and he can win the second one. David Hayes Achilles injury saw him in trouble after the sixth round David is always injury prone though, which is not good. I went through my own phase but always managed to fight through them and still do well. Wilder and Bellew met for the first time at Wembley Stadium when they were both ringside for Anthony Joshua's historic win over Vladimir Klitschko in April. Bellew then suggested he was ready to challenge him for his world heavyweight title, but the bronze bomber remains unimpressed with the Liverpudlian's chances. Deontay Wilder and Tony Bellew met at Wembley Stadium Bellew was OK, but nothing special against Hay, he said. He should stay at cruiserweight. At the end of the day they are both cruiserweights. I would love to see Bellew going in against a true heavyweight though, because it's different. A different world to what Hass used to. Tony Bellew and David Hay will meet each other again on December 17 live on Sky Sports box office, here's a look back at the first time they met in the ring watch Tony Bellew vs David Hay 2 from the O2, London, on Sunday, December 17, live on Sky Sports box office.